Good morning, sixth graders. We worked through a bunch of these problems in class yesterday, but there was a couple questions on two of them. Um, I had a question at the end of class on number eight and then a question on number 13. So I'm going to work out both of those on the board for you. We'll start with number eight. Number eight says, if a 60 kilogram person on a 15 kilogram sled is pushed with the force of 300 newtons, what will that person's acceleration be? Okay, so first off, we need to add the 15 kilogram sled to the mass of the person, okay? So mass in this case is going to be 60 plus 15 or 75 kilograms, okay? That's what M will equal. And then we know what the force is. It says 300 newtons, and our unknown is acceleration. So let's set that up on the board like we've done before. Okay, so our knowns, again, are mass. Mass equals 60 plus 15, or 75 newtons. All right. And let's see, our force, we know that as well. Our force is 300 newtons. Okay, our unknown in this case, what we're trying to figure out is the acceleration. All right, so our equation for all of these is F equals MA, and now we're just going to substitute. So 300 newtons equals 75 kilograms times an unknown A. All right. Well, what we do there, again, if we use our triangle of force, mass times acceleration, we don't know A, so we cover up A, and it's force over mass, all right? So we just have to do force over mass. 300, got my calculator here. <clears throat> 300 divided by 75 equals 4, okay? So A, for our solution, A is going to equal 4 meters per second squared. This is our solution here. That's how much that person on the sled will accelerate given a force of 300 newtons. All right. Next one, number 13, is a little bit more difficult. Erase this one. Go back to the problem. Okay, it says an object um, of mass of 30 kilograms is falling in air. Okay, well, if it's falling in air, it has the acceleration of gravity working on it. And the acceleration of gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. Okay? So 30 kilograms is falling with an acceleration of gravity of 9.8 meters per second squared and experiences air resistance force of 50 newtons. Okay, so on this one, go back to the board here it's asking us to determine the net force and calculate the acceleration okay well the acceleration is not just going to be the force of gravity right because we've got some air resistance working against it okay so what we'll have to do is we do know that we've got um, we've got a 30 kilogram mass and we know that it is falling at an acceleration of gravity which is 9.8 meters per second squared okay so we've got to figure that out first and we know looking at our triangle that if we know the mass and we know the acceleration, but we don't know the force, we just have to multiply them together, okay? So I am going to take 30 times 
and I'm going to get 294, 294 newtons. Okay, that is falling downwards. Okay, so we've got an object falling down at 294 newtons. But in this problem, it says that there's some air resistance pushing back upwards, right? The question says that there's air resistance of 50 newtons. Okay, so there's 50 newtons working in the opposite direction. So what we need to do is subtract 50 from 294, and we are going to get for our first answer here, we are going to get a net force of 244 newtons. Okay, that's the first part of the question. That's the net force. And then the second part says, what is the acceleration? Well, that's when we can plug it right into here. Okay, we know that the mass is 30 kilograms. We don't know what the acceleration is yet, but we do know that the force is 244 newtons. Okay, so our unknown in this case is acceleration. Um, our equation again, F equals MA, and all we got to do is substitute. So 244 newtons equals 30 kilograms times an unknown A. And again, if we don't know A, we cover up A, and it's just force divided by mass. Okay, so we take 244, we divide that by 30, 244 divided by 30 equals 8.13 repeating. Okay, so A is going to equal 8.13333. We just put a line over the threes to indicate it's repeating, and that is meters per second squared. Okay, so here's our second answer. This is the acceleration of the object, and this is the net force of the object. Okay. I hope that helps you out. If you have any more questions on any of the problems, let me know, and I'm happy to work them out for you. Have a good day.